Morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So for today's video I kind of thought we could spend the day together but I also thought I could do a little come shop with me in this video and we can go to B&M, a home bargains. I was going to go to TK Maxx as well but we're just so far apart and I really don't fancy driving into Cambridge today and the other B&M that I go to is really really good. I also haven't been in ages and I mean who doesn't freaking love B&M? I'm actually so excited. I thought I'd bring you all along in my day and then we could also go shopping together. Of course first priority this morning is having a cup of tea. When I'm at home my stepdad always makes me a cup of tea in the morning. Morning, which is so nice or my mum does as well like I've hardly made any tea since I've been back because they've just all been made for me which has been really really nice I need to get ready and like sort myself out because like I said I've got so much to do today so get ready go to P&M and then have a proper like work evening that's when Anna says she's at her new house today because they're basically moving I keep on saying that I'm gonna go and I need to go before I move back to uni I'm gonna do a to-do list because this is what I do all the time at the moment I always write what I need to get done in the day and I actually find it's so much more productive even though I might not get it done in the time frame I want it done I do still get it done I've just done my makeup for the day I actually done a really quick like light makeup routine it actually didn't take me that long and you know how long it takes me to do my makeup it's actually quite quick and I'm obsessed drunk elephant bronzy drops because that's what I've got on today with a tiny bit of tinted moisturizer it's such a nice combo I've just shut this on oh my god that's my nan because she's just come to pick me up and we're gonna go to her new house got back from looking at my nan's new house and oh my god it's actually incredible compared to the last time I saw it I genuinely walked in and I was originally speechless because I was like I was just not ex I don't know what I was expecting but I just wasn't expecting that and I'm so excited because the next time now I go and see it they're actually going to be fully moved in it's now time to go to B&M I'll show you guys my outfit kind of quickly whip this together so the joggers are from Sisters and Seekers and I've just got my Converse on I literally just filmed to get dressed with me for TikTok and as soon as I put these on this is the first time I've ever put them on and thought I feel really tall, <laughs> which I know sounds so silly, but I genuinely put these on and I was like, why do I just feel like I've grown two inches? I wear these all the time. I don't know why in that moment I was like, oh my God, I feel so tall right now. The bag is this Telfar dupe. It's from a brand called Small Lux Finds on Instagram. It's 50 pounds and the quality is so nice. Jacket is Zara. And then I've just got this little cropped long sleeve top from a pretty little thing on underneath. I don't know why I'm so excited to go to b and I was like, why am I actually so excited to go to b and right now? Like I don't have a house. I don't have... It's not like I own a house and I'm like decorating a house. Oh my God, there's a spider. It's a money spider. So I know that means good luck, but I'm okay with spiders that like hang from something. If I can squish it, not as in like, that's it. I'm not okay with spiders at all. Money baby spiders that I can deal with. Hanging, I can't deal with a hanging one. They're literally all gonna be like Shannon. I can't even see that. No, do you know what? The Sony camera quality is good. That's way too close for me. <laughs> I can't deal with that. Mm. I'm contemplating my life choices right now. I'm just gonna have to leave it. Also, I ordered from Wildcat Lashes because I don't know if you guys have seen these on TikTok. I've seen quite a few people test these out and I'm so excited to use these. Like a powder puff and a sponge combined and they basically don't absorb any products. Like I've seen people trying them out and I've seen them themselves like cut one of these open after putting loads of foundation on it doesn't absorb in look at these how fun i'm so excited to try them you get two in a pack i opened it and i was like oh my god there's extra in here they also threw in a couple of pairs of lashes and these look so nice you all know how much of a complete dose of lashes stand which i will be till the day that i die but these are like half lashes and they actually look so cute i've been wearing half lashes loads more recently and like look how I don't know if you guys can see, but they look so wispy. I'm definitely going to try these out. I just wanted to say thank you so much for sending these out because I was not expecting that. I really appreciate it. Absorbs 80% less product than your regular makeup sponge due to the air pockets in it. I can't wait. And they're really big as well. So excited to try them. It's actually a really crazy moment with me. I work with so many of like incredible brands. And the fact that I'm now working with this brand... My like 14 year old self is probably screaming, crying, throwing up. And I'm currently screaming, crying, throwing up because this is actually a mad moment for me. I'm actually working. I had like a little Zoom call with Victoria's Secret the other day and now I'm working with them. Really excited. I'm working with them over on TikTok. So please go follow, show their love on my TikTok. I'm so excited. I might give you guys a little sneak peek because I'm basically styling some of their pieces. So I need to try them on later. So I'm going to try one on and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. But I literally can't believe that I'm working with Victoria's Secret. And when I went on there, the stuff is actually incredible. Like I'm so excited to have these pieces in my wardrobe. Yay! You know what, it's such a nice day today. The sun is shining, but it's not cute for the lighting. So I do apologize, but I'm on my way now. I was gonna get petrol, but it's just really lazy me. I really can't bother. I'm just, I'm not on the red zone yet. Like I'm nearly on the red zone. So I should definitely get there and back fine. I'm gonna get there and back fine. Do you know what? It's literally really fine. I've got plenty of petrol to get me there and back. If I'm being completely honest, I don't entirely know the way. As in, I kind of know the way, but I, it's just going to be a wing it sort of situation, which I never usually do. I'm usually one to have the sat nav, even when I do kind of know where I'm going. Today I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. 
which is going to be a fun experience if I don't get there. <laughs> so we're just going to have to pray for me. I think I do. I know how to pretty much get there, but then I don't know actually how to access B&M from the point where I know where to go. Can't lie, I really want to show you guys my new playlist because I feel like I've been absolutely obsessed with it at the moment, but I don't want to get copyrighted. That's just so annoying, but I will, do you know what, I'll compromise. I will link my new Spotify playlist down below. A little bit different for me because you all know how much I'm such like a house techno kind of gal. At the moment I've just been loving like not that kind of music. I've been preferring a bit more chill music. I think it's because I've been literally a house techno gal for like three years straight and just completely boycotted anything else where I'm now like okay now I'm back into it now. B&M's good. Even though when me and the girls do the uni food shop while wow, the sun is blinding. But yeah when me and girls do the uni food shop we do go around B&M but we don't actually look. We just go and get what we need. So I haven't actually properly looked around B&M in so long. This is not cute. I need I need my sunglasses. Who would have thought? I'm actually glad I'm going because mum said that we need tea bags. She actually texted me saying we need to feed your tea addiction or whatever she said. I actually can't remember what she said but she said something along the lines of that. So I need to go and get tea bags which is the main thing. Oh I made it and I didn't get lost. I actually made it in one piece and that just proves to me that I do not need a sat nav. Our park is pretty much empty which means it's not busy which is good although I'm probably gonna feel awkward vlogging but you know what I just think fuck it who cares. I'll be saying that now and then there'll be zero vlog clips. No I'm joking. I'm gonna do if I feel really on edge, then I'll just switch with my phone, but I'm a strong, independent woman who can vlog. <laughs> I just think I've done so many come shop with me's and it's fine. I'm just going to go around and show you guys everything that I love in B&M at the moment. Even though I'm literally 22, no house, no house to myself. I'm just, I just enjoy being at stuff. I need to get tea bags because we don't have any at home. So I think... I don't really know. I think I'm just going to get these. <laughs> my mum would be like looking at the prices and comparing, but I think I'm just going to get these. Oh my God. These are the best things ever and I can never find them in my B&M at home. They are so good. I usually am not a big fan of like coffee sachets, but these are like the best. I'm actually so excited I've got these. Oh my God. This has just reminded me that pancake day is literally coming fast. I can't wait. These are literally my mum's favourite things ever. So I'm going to get her some of these because my stepdad was like, can you get us some snacks? So... This is one of the snacks I'm gonna get for them. Since when did they do mango winders? This is my favorite section and oh my God, I've not been down the homeware aisle in ages and this all looks insane. Is that a need? I feel like this is kind of a need. How sick does this look? Now this is a hard decision because I've just spotted the pink one and I feel like the pink one would look really cute in my room or this one. Oh my God, I actually don't know. Sorry. So unnecessary, do not need it, but how cute is that little bunch? <gasps> you're lying they have so many cute pampersy bits i even really love this as well so you've probably seen but i actually use one of these as my bin and i feel like it's such a cute way of using it as a bin i just put like a plastic bag in it i have one that looks exactly like this but in this size in case the pink and the nude isn't your vibe they also have loads of like black stuff as well which if my accents in my room are black i actually kind of wish they were now because I love all like the black bits of decoration. But even that is so nice. I feel like that would look so cute in my mum's living room. I love all of these little baskets. I wish I had somewhere to put them because I would definitely get some of these. These ones even have like gold flecks in. I'm in the candle section. It's actually my favourite section. This smells insane. It's green tea and jasmine. Oh my god, I love that. Also have vanilla and oriental. This is van vanilla and oriental spice. Oh my god. These are kind of like the only new ones I've seen though. I feel like they've had all of this other stuff for ages now. I'm now down the bedding aisle on the hunt for a cute new bedding. Like if I find a really nice new bedding, I'm definitely going to get it. But I'm so fussy. This one looks really nice. I love the colour. Oh my god. Soft and snuggly. They've fucking got that right because this feels incredible. Oh, I love the colour of this one as well. This one is my bedding now. And honestly, you actually need it if you don't have it because it is the best bedding ever i just love how it looks in my room look at this rug this borg style rug and also this one here i don't know if it would fit in my room or look nice but i kind of really love that we're at the cushion pile i have so many cushions I always love updating them oh my god i've just i've just seen these stop it there you look <gasps> they're really soft as well no because why are they kind of a need look at them <gasps> two for 12 pounds as well Oh, I love this one as well. I have this in cream. Me and Shine got it in our B&M gift shop. I always get so many comments on my TikTok about it. But it's from B&M. It's only £10. Trust me, the softest thing ever. These are all the current mugs. I'm like, do I need a new mug? Don't I need a new mug? Kind of want a new mug. Me scouting out what Easter egg I want this year. I feel like I'm going to, 
going to have to end up by myself one because I'm not going to be at home. At B&M, I felt like that was way quicker than what I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. I always think there's going to be more in B&M than what there is. I did even go around like all the storagey bits to see if there's any like cute new storagey bits in at the moment. There wasn't really anything like that. Like there was nice stuff, but it's definitely stuff I've seen a million times before. Secured the goods. I actually think I spent like 20 something pounds. I feel like I got quite a few bits. That just served me was so lovely. I was gonna go to Home Bargains, but the Home Bargains here isn't the best. And I don't know what I'm gonna find in Home Bargains that I haven't already bought. Like I don't need anything. I'm just gonna end up spending more money or it's just gonna be a wasted trip. So I'm gonna head home and I'll do you guys a little mini haul when I get back. But I got some cute bits. I am back from BM and of course straight in my dressing gown and would it surprise anyone? I'm straight with a cup of tea in my hand. But of course, we're gonna do a BM haul. I actually got some really cute bits. It was a very successful trip. Do you know what? It was a good amount of success like i didn't go overboard and literally spend so much money so of course as i showed you guys i got the caramel latte nescafe they're the best i did get my mum and christian some sweets bags of sweets which i'm pretty sure i showed you guys but they've already got them downstairs hetley tea bags essentials here's the bits i got for myself I got this diffuser which i am so excited about it actually looks beautiful I just love the fact that it's got pampas in how cute is that and it's in a vanilla and cedar wood definitely haven't said that right scent that was so cute and then the next thing i got couldn't not get this and if you know me watch me watch my room decor you will know that i have a million and one things like this did i need it no genuinely just couldn't not how freaking cool is this i'm pretty sure i have this vase i can't even lie i loved the whole pink pampas moment that was going on in this how could i not get it and especially because i love having like pink accents of things in my room I love all the beiges and the nudes and stuff like that but you do need like a tiny pop of color and i'm just obsessed with pink so I had to get this and it's sick. I also got these, which I'm literally about to have in my cup of tea. Don't know if I'm gonna love or hate them, but I love hobnobs, like these hobnobs. And these are like a coconut macaron, macaroon, however you wanna say it, flavor. And I, I am partial to loving coconut things. So I'm excited to try these. And finally, another thing, like I realistically, the stuff I bought, did I really need it? No, but I got it anyway. I got a new mug. I thought this mug just matched the whole vibes of my life. Do you know what I mean? How sick is this? I'm obsessed with the colour of it. I like the little line faces on it. I just thought this was a sick mug. It was £3.50. It's like a heavy, like sturdy mug. Don't get me wrong, the rim is a little bit thick. <laughs> I love like a really thin rim on a mug. I've spoken about this a million times before. Don't get me wrong, this is a little bit thicker, but it was just too cute of a mug to miss. Like imagine me sitting in here sipping this. Stop it, I love it. That was everything I got from BNL. I feel like I just got some like really cute bits, like nothing too crazy, but like cute bits. Let's try these. I'm really, I really hope I like them. I do love coconut though. I love coconut flavor things. I just don't have it enough. It would really be like a love or hate. Like a lot of you guys watching this are probably gonna hate these. I've not had anything coconut in so long, and I actually love it. This is making me want to, I really want a bounty. You know what, the coconut flavor in this isn't actually that deep, but this has really made me like, I want to go and get a bounty. I might have to go and get a bounty. That sounds so rogue. Mm. Oh, I love them. Just had takeaway fish and chips for dinner. Oh my God, since I've been home, all I've had is like takeaway and stuff like that. So I'm actually excited to go and eat and cook normal food when I go back to uni because at home I've been so reckless. You all know when I finish uni, I'm actually gonna be starting up my own clothing brand. And I've also spoken about it in my video. My final year uni project is on that. Because it's my final year uni project, I've been looking at like putting a collection together on like InDesign or Adobe. I had a few lessons of it in first year, but I literally couldn't get the hang of it and it was so hard. I also wanted to set up a brand logo as well. I actually signed up to Skillshare, which this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by. I have thousands of online classes and the ones I've been doing is the Adobe Illustrator Essential training this is actually a seven hour course but what's so good is that the videos are like set in little sections so you can really do it step by step so i'm not even halfway through yet but i've already picked up so much so the adobe illustrator essentials training was with daniel scott and i also finished the logo design with Draplin. this is the secrets of shape type and color this was so handy and i actually designed my brand logo but i can't show you guys yet because i do want the name and everything to be a complete surprise like i say i've struggled so much on how to use like adobe illustrator and stuff so having this to teach me step by step i've actually picked up on it so much easier and i'm so excited because i feel like it's such a good skill to have like I say, especially when I finish uni and I'm going to be wanting to use it for my own brand. She with it being the new year, I feel like this is a great way to kind of invest your time into doing a new hobby. There is loads of different avenues you can go down with this. You've got animation, creative writing. If you wanted to go into building your own business, there's courses on marketing, leadership and management. There's even classes on productivity and how to maximize your productivity and organization, your time management, even your time management in order to like make your like little side product projects happen, which I'm saving right now because you all know how bad I am with time management. I leave a link in my bio so you can check out Skillshare 
t-shirt and get one month free. I think it's such a good way to be able to easily learn a new skill or help you with something that you're doing. I'm excited for you to all eventually see that the logo that I've worked on as well as all the designs for my new brand and I wouldn't have been able to do that without Skillshare. I'm scared. It is time for me to try on some of the Victoria's Secret stuff just to make sure like I'm 100% happy with the pieces that I got and kind of give you guys a little sneak peek but I'm really excited. One thing I will say is that I haven't had my boobs measured since I don't even know since probably the first time I even got a prime and my mum took me to get measured and ever since then I was wearing like maybe like Primark B slash C so I got a B cup in these and I'm really scared they're not gonna like I don't know if they're actually gonna fit my boob I've just guessed because seriously how beautiful is that oh my god I'm obsessed I don't want to give too much away show you two more things oh my god that is so cute how unreal I didn't even ever think to like go and look at Victoria's Secret for like corset tops I know these are like bras slash tops but these look beautiful now let's just manifest for me that they fit you'll know about it if they don't of course i had to get the iconic striking pajamas which i'm so excited about hey i made the right choice in terms of sizing where have these boobs come from i feel amazing like i genuinely feel amazing in this sorry i wasn't even gonna come and show you the white but how cute is the white i wasn't really expecting to love this as much as i do it's time to do my evening skincare routine it can't lie i thought i was recording and i wasn't recording I'm just taking my makeup off using my inky list oak cleansing balm i find this has really like cleared my skin up like literally one swipe and my makeup is off. Put on some of my sleeping mask first and just let this kind of sit in my skin whilst I do my hair. It's so hydrating. I always feel like I wake up in the morning and my skin just feels so nice. Tomorrow is actually hair wash day. I'm going out for dinner with Daisy tomorrow, which I'm really excited for because I haven't seen her in ages. And because tomorrow is hair wash day, of course, I'm going to be putting in some rosemary oil. I find this has really helped with my growth. So originally my plan was to not get my hair done until like my graduation because I was like, do you know what? Fresh hair for graduation is kind of a must. And now I'm like... I might just keep going. Literally just keep on going until it's the like perfect length and like thickness that I want. And even though, yes, I am gonna be going blonde, I'm definitely gonna do more of a balayage and I now know how to look after blonde hair, which I know, don't get me wrong, it's still gonna be damaged. But the whole time I've had blonde hair, I genuinely have not known how to look after it. Whereas now I feel like I know how to look after it it won't be as bad. Of course, I'm gonna spray some of the Iconic London Prep Set Tan on my face. I mentioned this in my last video. I'm absolutely obsessed with this at the moment. The only thing I'll say is that I feel like as soon as I take my makeup off, it's completely gone. But then when it's freshly like on, it looks amazing. I just use this Iconic London brush to brush it all in. It makes it look not streaky at all. I've just realized I've directly sprayed that onto my white dressing gown. Love that for me. Now I'm ready to get myself into bed. I just have to do some last minute work on my laptop. And I think it's nearly like gone 12 o'clock now. But yeah, I'm gonna get into bed now. And I'm also gonna end this video here. I really hope you all did enjoy and enjoy this little bit. Um, come shop with me. If you did, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.